this is J9LP, and the last time with Castlevania Portrait of Ruin, we got a huge ball of nakedness. Um, he was named Legion, and we trotted him after him in the Kyog, and also we went back to Wind, the quest. That's sexy pose there, Jonathan. No. Don't tell me that girl was... Oh, Vincent! You're still here? I thought... That's alright, Vincent. She, she was up my skirt. There she goes. <laughs> there she is. Don't, don't you worry about a thing, Vincent. Seriously. Anyway, so yeah, what are we doing? We're doing a few quests. And I'm... Um, uh, I think one of them actually done already. Unfortunately, I, I forgot um, uh, to actually... Um, You're back. To actually complete it, complete it by, just by pressing that. There was the martial arts here, which is essentially a knee strike done by a um, uh, bunch of complicated commanders. Anyways, um, we've got a couple of others. Um, uh, it's this one, which is the spinning up in front three times. Um, let's Let's actually do that now actually. Let's see if I can remember how to do it. One, two, and Okay. Ah, oh, is it? Yeah, you have to kinda of do it three times in a row. Just kind of hold on. I'm pretty sure I did it. You have to do it. the thing is you don't have to actually do it three times in a row. You just have to do it three times. It's weird, I have to, have to do it four times there, that's the first time I've seen that happen anyway, so once you've done that, you will get a new skill, which is Rocket Slash! What's this? Oh no, this is basically a, a, a basic, a very basic skill done by the usual way that you do skills, much like um, the, the Knee Strike, um, which means it's not a weapon um, a skill, it's a sort of a body skill, although uh, it shows you that. And what it does is you do this. Okay, um, pretty awesome, isn't it? I, I don't know what it does exactly, but I think it's just essentially like a slash route anyway. Um, anyways, so we've got a couple more quests to do. Um, one of them is pretty much nearby, so let's just go and do that one, shall we? Um, to complete. Well, that's one, the statues do. Well, I think if you've watched the last episode, um, well, last couple of episodes, um, uh, you might know what statue we are talking about. Let's just do that, please. And our, our particular statue would be the one. Okay, fine, can you just. Do it the right chopping way. Okay. Like that. There you go, nice slashy food type thing. Which does a fair amount of damage. Um, anyway, so the statue is here! In the nation! Falls! And it's not too far around it, just a little. I think I've got Jonathan with a bit more handy in the skill than the one we've got there. Um, the axe! Yes. You have my axe and I'm going to have some horrible fucking carpy thing! Okay, so basically, yeah, probably guess we're talking about that statue with walls to deal on there, Mr. Armour Knight person. Oh, just a lot of long spears on um, there uh, now. Just, well, I don't need them, although that should be, be a pretty penny when I um, uh, sell them, so that's good. So, yeah, it's the statue here, which is a very odd place for the um, uh, Virgin Mary. So, yes, and look at it again, and. Ew! Oh dear. Oh uh, yeah, the statue is a very bad case of conjunctive biters for that to happen. Um, so, all that is on that, that quest completed. Um, I'll meet you back there in a bit. Hey guys! 
Bam! Ouch! Okay, that served me right. Um, anyways, so... Let's head back to Winton and collect um, uh, this prize for the quest that we just did. And the statues to... Now... Any, 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 any guesses as to what you actually get with this? It's a, the clue is pretty much in the name of the quest. It's statues tear. You know, it's a tear from the, uh, the Virgin Mary. And, you know, tears are particularly wet. So, there you go. Wet, holy figure. What do you think we get? Any guesses? Excellent. Oh, here's your answer. The Holy Water, of course. Well, another um, uh, Castlevania classic um, uh, weapon, which, as you know, a lot of Castlevanias, that weapon's kind of broken. Um, uh, but also, only pretty much in the where it was really most effective. So, yeah. That's your holy water. Just like on the uh, Catherine and the special things. Um, what I'll show you on some blue So if I start with holy water, ooh, this is a skeleton thing. And that's the thing. I, I just hit a zombie, so why did you give me a skeleton spell? Well, if I do it for a little bit for that. It'll turn into a skinny gong! Yes! The zombies were skinny gongs all along! God damn it! Um, if you do it to any other enemy, though, know, it's the same sort of effectiveness. So, nothing much more than that. Anyways, um, well, so at this point, you might as well go further into the castle. And, uh,. And there's one place I particularly want to go. Um, and that will be on the custom room and into a very long corridor. There's not much action here, I'm afraid. Um, apart from this block, which we couldn't get out of before, but now because we've got the, um, uh, the push cube, we can do this. Charlotte's help to get it out of the way, and then we will turn back into the Great Stairway. Um, uh, a couple of places I haven't actually explored much. Find just the steady dumb arrow type things. So let's go over here. Okay, so that will just lead you back to the. Great stairs that were there before. Um, I'm not gonna go through the just ouch yet. So I'm just gonna pop through. I'm not. It's over here. It's a very long room where uh, just the second is that's all there. Uh oh, no, I don't, don't want to be faffed about your novelty Dyson missile. Oh, they're so polite. They're huge courtesy and they kick your ass. Ooh! Give me a nice drop there with a pudding bucket! Mmm! Um, I guess that will actually give you a fair bit of health break. I don't know where you could act. Okay, and now I'll get to another certain bit when I see what we'll see again. And now um, um, uh, let's go more on this castle! See you in a bit. Okay, so I don't think we've explored enough of this area, which is kind of just like the area I'm um, uh, sort of down to your to your right and there's Uko back here and all these lava things so it's gonna be a little bit more um, uh, dodgy to a max so but we do get a new spell which is a mind boost which boosts mind temporarily mind as you pretty sure you know is your um Yes, I'm sure you do with it. Stomp the rocks on the mimic. Can you stop fapping about the place? Come here. Thank you. Oh no, it's still there, darling. You should get the number of them now. 
of these small sections that I've done, but I think I'm pretty much right. Well then. Yes, it keeps saving me, but it's gonna do you no good. Whoops, I forgot all the bait. Ah, oh, I keep forgetting about the good thing was selling the rat dripping bush. Anyways, so yeah, the mind boost and now, uh, well of course, boost your magical defense. No you don't. And um uh, that will add I think 20 to uh, get things, but you actually can add 20 to it. You'll see, well it actually adds um uh, I'm not gonna use it now because really. it's just these boomerang skelly gum type things. I feel bad for you. Skip your funky steady guns. Right. Oh! It's funny because. Oh! That was by accident! I didn't mean to do that. Stop fucking about. Standing there like he's. Like he's it! Well, you're not it, sir. You were pretty much dead. Okay, and here I got more of these chuffing. Horrible flames in this traffic, the first thing is something you're going at. And we also got the teleportation unit over here. Yes. Much fun of much teleportation type stuff. No, right. And. Oh, God. That's, this is the problem. They leave these flames about the place. They're much worse than Symphony of the Night. Oh, yeah, that one out there. Um. Let's And this. Place actually just leads you back. I'm just showing you this back to um, uh, place to us. This, uh, this is for me. This is kind of the most stark area of the um, uh, Dracula's castle. It's not particularly that interesting. It's nice. It's just kind of dowdy. And obviously, this is the place where um, uh, Dracula's and the cleaners wasn't um, uh, particularly doing a good job. Oh, look at that. It's right on top of the Candle. Oh, bloody hell, that candle's a bit too much for a minute anyway, and we get to meet in here with long corridor, this Grazia Rabalus again, which I'm uh, we'll leave out of that place and then uh, also try and poison you. I don't know why it's such a long room, I mean, there's not much of a battle, but I suppose if you meet them for the first time, you're not so powered up. Although they're a bit more trouble to deal with anyway. Something else you need to push with Charlotte. And this one's kind of interesting. This is a nice and nice sort. This is the one thing that's interesting about this game is this, this funky little um, uh, sort of contraptions that will kind of link you from one point to another. Unless you need particular skills for. On, uh, well, for that case. Anyway, here we enter the Tower of Death! Oh, gold. And that had to be skelly on didn't it? Of course we didn't expect! The Tower of Death has got some kind of skelly gun, haven't it? Um, and I love this place, so there's several reasons why. Apart from the fact there's a secret area over here, which just gives you some tasty meat. In classic Castlevania style. Yes, yeah, that's the only thing that's, that's classic about this Castle of Rain's chopping the chopping meat is I don't know. Anyways, you see the spikes there? That kind of gives you a clue as to um, uh, what all this area is all about. Of course, there's a teleportation unit here. Here, um, here actually, I'll show you. There's a save point here, um, which I'll use right now. And given the spikes, I'm, I'm pretty sure, given this is a Tower of Death, even uh, as soon as I walk in here, you can kind of guess what type of area this is. Yes, it's the classic clock tower area with clocks for Pete's sakes and, and Medusa heads, of course. The bloody Medusa heads. Yeah, this, this is where at this point they are really damned annoying, especially when you have to go over these moving cogs and goodness knows what else. Um, Anyways, let's start the usual Osier room. Down here in the Mackie Shash. So this next bit is fairly important. Um, how important is it? Well, you know what? I'm going to show you in the next video. Bye!